लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब ये इस चैनल के तीन स्तंभ है इन्हें दबाइए और आज की वीडियो को एंजॉय करें नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डेटा इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन सेंट्रल टेंडेंसीज हाउ वी कैन मेजर देम व्हाट इज मेन मीडियम एंड मोड डीलिंग विद दीज थिंग्स इन द सेकंड वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट स्क्यू लेफ्ट स्क्यू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव एंड द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस टू इन दिस थर्ड वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मैट्रिक्स दैट आर गोइंग टू मेजर द डिस्पर्जन ऑफ द डेटा this include range this include variance standard deviation quantiles quartiles and interquartile range so let's start so the first metric for measuring the dispersion of the data is range the first metric i am writing is range okay range is defined as maximum value minus minimum value okay very simple definition Second matrix for the division dispersion of data is variance or standard deviation. Now the formula for standard deviation is given by uh, if we have x one, x two, x three up to x n observations, then the standard deviation is given by or uh, the variance is given by variance is sigma square that is given by sigma square is given by. X i minus x bar summation whole square upon n n is the number of observation and just taking a square root this is called the standard deviation. Okay, we all know the formula for standard deviation, but here we should note that what does the variance or the standard deviation mean? So it tells you that how your data is dispersed with respect to mean of the data. If most of the points are closely spaced near mean, that means the variance or the standard deviation would be very low. And if the data is far, uh, you know, dispersed far from the mean, then standard deviation and variance would be very high. Okay, so if we have a, a distribution like this thing, okay, so this has high variance compared to high variance compared to this one this has a low variance okay because you can see that the middle value represents the mean because they both are normal distribution so if this is the mean for the second distribution most of the data are closely spaced to the mean but for the first one for the first one if this is the mean then data are quite uh, you know dispersed from the mean hence it should have a high variance so this what variance and standard deviation mean and this is our second metric in measuring the dispersion of the data now the most important metric come which tells us about quantiles quartiles and interquartile range so we will see both three of them and we will understand what is the difference between these three so let us first start with quantile now what does a quantile mean so if you divide your data into q equal parts okay we are dividing our data into q equal parts that is equivalent to saying we have q quantiles okay not quartile it is q quantiles so let us suppose that we have a distribution of data something like that and we are dividing the data like we have divided two parts again we can divide the data just like this so first second third fourth five six so we have divided into six equal parts the whole data so it is equivalent to six quantiles of the data we have plotted the six quantiles of the data so a quantile represent the the one by qth part of the data okay in q quantile plot so if you are saying that let us suppose there are q quantiles then one quantile represent one by qth of the data now question arises that what does equal mean okay what does here equal mean are the number of observations are same okay are uh, the the number of you know uh, the range are same because the range of this part is equal to this part are the range same 
or the number of observation chain. So if we have six parts of the data, we will have five points that is x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. So what x3 is doing? If we only see the x3, x3 is dividing the data into two half. That means the number of observation of this part is equal to the number of observation for this part. So equal means this data have same number of observation to this data to this data. So the observations of data are same. Hence quantile have same number of observations. Each quantile have same number of observations. Now let us suppose that if we have a distribution and we divide into two quantiles. Two quantiles. That means the number of observation this side is equal to the number of observation this side. That means this value, this value x is representing the middle value of the data. Hence, the middle value is also called the median of the data. Hence, x would be equal to the median of data. Okay. Now, one uh, important thing to note that if we are talking about 100 quantiles, okay, we divide the data into 100 equal parts, then we will go to the scale of percentiles. Okay, we are going to the scale of percentile when we are talking about 100 quantiles. Okay, this is a very interesting thing to note. And we can also say that <clears throat> if we have a data and we are seeing that something is around 30 percentile. 30 percentile. Okay, this point, this x i is representing 30 percentile. Percentile. That means 30% of the data lies here. This is the 30% of data. Because all parts will have same number of observations. And when we talk about 30% type, that means till this point 30% of the data has occurred. Okay, this what a percentile mean. And this is the remaining 70% of data. So this what 100 quantiles mean. Now, if we move into four quantile, four quantiles, then suppose this is the distribution. Okay. We would have one part like this. Let us say this to be x2, this to be x1, and this to be x3. So we have four equal parts, one, two, three, and four, all having same number of observations. And these, these distribution, these x1, x2, x3, are called quartiles are called quartile this is the first quartile of the data this is the second quartile of the data and this is the third quartile of the data now see x is similar to x2 here hence x2 would be the median okay and from the quantiles from the percentiles i can say that this represent 25 percentile and this represent 75 percentile point now what does this mean that 25 percent of the data lies here and that that is happening because if we are dividing the data into four equal parts each part will correspond to the 25 percent of the data and till x3 we would have 75 percent of the data so this was this what a quartile mean okay this is the first quartile this is the second quartile this is the third quartile and these are commonly represented as q1 Q2 and Q3. So this is the basic difference between a quantile, between a quartile. Okay. And then just a small term that is the interquartile range, which is defined as IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1. Third quartile minus the first quartile. Okay, so this was all about the measuring, uh, you know, uh, metrics, how to measure the dispersion of the data. And of course, uh, we can use interquartile range uh, to find outliers. Okay, we can also use uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 and the maximum and minimum value to represent the box plot. Okay, similarly a box plot is also created. Now to find outlier, we can say that if a point, if a point lies uh, let me write here that if a point uh, is 
lie ahead of q3 plus 1.5 times of iqr okay then it is a outlier or if a point lie below then q1 minus 1.5 iqr okay then it is an outlier so this is how we can find outlier from the interquartile range it is useful it also tells us about that how the data are dispersed from the mean also because if the iqr is small then most of the data would lie near mean if the iqr is very large okay that we can say that it would have a large variance too so these are the metrics which you know tell you something about the dispersion of the data okay